God kveld, god aften, bonsoir, god abend, good evening. Um, I'm Stefan Sjernstrøm out of SID out of Philly, and tonight I'm going to be pretending to be talking about aliasing redefined, but, oh, that's just the lawyer view. In reality, it's what I want to talk about is message passing, because we deal with an awful lot of various network packets, inter-process communication, and we're constantly writing code like this. But of course, this is a well-educated audience, and we all know that that is nothing but a load of nasal demon undefined behavior. So, having realized this, you go out and you try to work out, is there a better way of doing this? And eventually you might find something that looks a little bit like this, having dug through any number of websites. And the magic of this is it compiles down to absolutely zero code and seems to do just about enough to tell the compiler that this is something real. So we can produce code that doesn't read too badly and at least for us, doesn't blow up or do something strange. But that code isn't really what we want. It has problems. The big problem is, when was the last time you tried to modify data on a network buffer that you're reading? It's generally not a good idea. So cons correctness is, is a thing. But here there be dragons because that code doesn't like being passed a const parameter. There's just basically every single line will give some kind of error message, if not two or three. But it's possible to rework and extend, and we think that works, but we haven't been able to prove it to ourselves. But at least it compiles down to zero code. So the, the net assembly is the same. So we're almost getting what we want. At least we can now do cons correctness, we think. And looking ahead, there's hope on the horizon. There's all sorts of usable tools coming down. There's stood bitcast, which is going to be great, providing what you're going from and to is exactly the same size and a list of other requirements that covers the numerous pages. Um, there is uh, the Im implicit creation of objects for low-level manipulation paper, uh, which I'll commonly call stood bless, um, which looks like it's ho it holds promise, but as we'll see later, it, it doesn't quite get us where we need to be. And there's also there's other papers in the in flight as well. Uh, 1631, I don't even think has hit the mailing yet, but it's uh, definitely on, on its way. But it's so very early days that anything could still hap happen there. Because what we really need to do in our generated code that handles thousands of different message types is we don't just need to bless data from a raw buffer once, as one type we need to do it as several types. And the question goes, well, why not a union? Well, what if one of your TCP packets is one and a half megabytes in size? Now you're moving that around for all of your 200 byte packets. Doesn't work. But this is what we really need. Thank you.